turning this into one 10 ounce bar. I got two pies at the same price. Whoa. I'll take it. So that and that. Yep. Get to two. This is sterling and this is coin silver. Very junk, nice. Junk pure. <laughs> First name? Jacob. Like Jacob, and you don't mind me recording you? Not at all. So, did you get paid? Yeah, I did. Slugs of I'm a contractor, and I took $5,000 as partial payment, and most of it was coins, but some of it was just this stuff because it's what the guy had. But this is definitely some amount of silver, I and mean, they're pretty heavy. Yeah. They're probably just a bunch of junk in them, too, because you can see they're corroding a little funny. But. Did he, uh, did he say he melted down? He much? didn't personally. He got these. He does the same thing. It's another trader. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's interesting. And then you got some other stuff. You get I spoons got piles of things and, and old jewelry. jewelry. So you're just pieces. scrapping stuff. Yeah, I'm starting to see if he wants any of it. Trade it up for coins and have actually coin silver. Very nice. He's also got some bars I paid him for last month or last week. Oh, yeah. That's pretty That's cool. nice, right? Yeah, it's pretty heavy. That. that is heavy. It's gotta be sterling. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, sometimes this stuff, it, it just, I don't know, I don't know if, if he not, takes it if it's not yeah, marked, yeah, and then, of course, he has to test it, right? Yeah, I don't know if this one is. So you got all this stuff from uh, random, different... Random people. Random people. I just collect it. Go, go to estate sales, or... or oh, just yeah, estate sales, flea, flea markets. Yeah. yeah, I was curious about this. This was, um, it's marked 925 sterling. Yeah, clearly it's not. It's coins, melted coins, which I don't think is legal. So somebody melted down a bunch of 90% silver. Tim, you're checking it out? Yeah. What's that stuff? This isn't, that's 90, huh? Even though it's marked 925. Oh. That's all you have to do is stamp something in it. You gotta be this careful. Nothing. You can stamp 999 if you want to. <laughs> Certainly good. 925. So this and is at least coin. These those aren't even marked, nothing. right? No. No. Wow. They've got the little gold. What is yeah. that? Imagine those buffaloes and bars. Okay, what are buffaloes in American Eagles right now? Uh, well, actually, American Eagles, I've got two uh, of those. 1860. And they're and, like somebody's um, travel. Linda and Scott. Can I see? Jerusalem. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. It's probably from somebody's trip abroad. I wonder if it's like uh, plated, do you think? Or do you yeah, know? this is no, no, solid. It's got like oh, something in it. I figure the yeah. shell is sterling. Right. You know, right. if I brought this to somebody, they could like break it open and melt it all down. And who okay, knows? So what's this an ounce? It's probably yeah, coated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These two are 10 grand. And spoons and uh, all kinds of stuff. And that's 31.1. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this is, is it coming tens or Random pins. Or fives? But these little bells, little broken pieces. Yeah, and this all came right. off of a. So we got a one Torah, one five. Torah yeah. scroll yeah. reader. Okay. And those are always sterling. Yeah, that's fine. So this little know, piece may not be, but... So you know how to tell pretty quickly when you're... Uh, That's the trick. Uh, the first couple ounces of silver I ever bought, I think I paid six fifty, dollars Just around 7 bucks. So it's quite a while ago now. Wow. And I've never sold it. You never sell your silver? Never sold it. I watched it go bounce up yeah, towards 50 and okay. come back down. That was depressing, but it's life. <laughs> You're in it for the long haul, huh? Yeah. What is that? I have no idea. <laughs> More pieces. These so hairpin things are probably... 20, that's probably a little it, fragment of sterling. Right? Yes, okay. Hard Thanks. to say. I'm going to ask him where his refiner is at. Just take it. They can melt all this down. Yeah. Have you ever considered melting it down yourself? Oh, yeah, I know a, a guy that runs a little forge. Could melt it easily in a crucible. But yeah, uh, Nap yeah. gas, put mm -hmm. it in a this was, um, little crucible, yeah. melt it down yourself, maybe even try to refine it a bit right. yourself. That'd be fun. It would be. <laughs> maybe I can get him to do these nuggets to something that's sellable. Six.
When you love silver as much as me, it's really easy to get carried away. Sometimes I just can't keep my hands off of a good deal. So when SD Boolean told me that they wanted to give away some silver for free, I was happy to lend my hands, I mean voice, for the cause. Now how much silver are they giving away, you ask? Boom, yes. 500 brand new Silver Eagle coins will be going to one of you. Just click the link below and enter for your chance to be the next big winner. Yep, okay, got it. This is sterling, right? Marked as such oh, and tested out? Marked. No. But this, this really, this is interesting. Yeah. It's the you can always put it on the scale there and test it. <laughs> Wait, I have to even know how to use one of those. Though. <laughs> you're just, you're just awful. <laughs> so what do you Forty. Think? Three. Do you want any of those or no? Um. Boy. Do you have a refiner that you can recommend somewhere? I could. I actually, I don't. Um, when my wholesaler was alive, we did. Hmm. Um. I don't know what they do for quite silver. 43.5? At least they... 43.5. They did. Spot on. These are probably the same. They're just denser and got more junk in them. Look at all this stuff. Now that's sterling, right? That is, and I'm pretty sure this big spoon is and stuff like that. But I'm going to let him tell me. <laughs> He's got the machine. Interesting. Yeah, it's not going to measure that. No, because of the gaps. Mm. Yeah. Um, to come from this? Yeah, same person. Spoons, forks. Gotta have it. Wow. I don't know about those little ones. I'm not certain on those. You know, that is a very interesting way to this find your plated. stack. That does? Yeah. Could be. I assumed because it was so flexible. Yeah, that looks easy. like the painting is wearing off on that one. Yeah, definitely possible. I wonder how many other people that are watching this video it's like yeah, like to go to uh, estate sales or yard sales or just, just scrap oh, yeah. scrap silver. Leave a comment below. Man, you got a nice goodie bag there. <laughs> Random stuff I've come across. Let's have a little plastic ring in them. So Tim, do you take, usually take silver, sterling silver, and does it have to be marked or test out? It does because the refinery will reject it. They don't have time to go sorting through it. Um, and it has to be clearly marked. Mm -hmm. These are nice. They are mm -hmm. pretty. Are, are they marked? Yeah. Sterling. And I don't know about Beautiful. what these are. That's, wow. These are like little straw spoons. I don't know if it's for like cooling your drink or what. But... This was plated <clears throat> to the plating wall. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's that style and this style. Yeah. So all these? All those, that style, yes. <laughs> but see, when it's tarnished black like that, this one, like it might be silver. The chance. Like they used to call these um, lemonade spoons. Lemonade spoons. Yeah, because they actually have a straw. Mm -hmm. I know. Do you find most people that you go to to buy this are knowledgeable in what sterling Not is? usually. People don't know what silver is, do they? No. No, they don't value it. Mm. You're uh, converting this to more silver? Oh, yeah. Silver coins. Coinage. Rounds. Either coinage or I'm going to buy at least one ounce of gold today is my plan. Nice. Got it. You're very optimistic. You know what the know. ratio between gold and silver is doing. Well, no, no, I know it's terrible right now. I've got cash for the gold. <laughs> That's why I'm just keeping. I keep buying more and more silver, hoping it's going to flip back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you, who knows? You do the same thing. Maybe you should. <laughs> I bet you and it never seems to flip. No, back. it's been a long time. Hasn't you it? play the ratio too, Tim. Huh? Yeah, we have to. Oh. You see all these boxes? <laughs> Five hundred ounces in every box. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. 
No, I'm not playing the ratio. I actually ordered that for a customer. My silver. absolute favorite silver is the Mercury Dime, then the Walking Liberty Half. They're pretty. Yeah, I actually was, I was hanging out and the other day when we bought, there was a fridge of beer where I was hanging out playing Dungeons and Dragons and you could, you could buy beer off the fridge. So I was just putting silver dimes and taking one, one beer per silver dime. And it's good because everybody in this club trades and we use gold backs and everything else. So. You use gold backs yeah. in your club mm -hmm. for goods and services? Yeah. That's fantastic. You're interested in those, huh? Well, you want to buy them? <laughs> <laughs> I'm disappointed that it's a, uh, it's not sterling. Not so much. Well, I'm no, that it's mismarked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, um, in fact, I'm curious, Tim, would you take it if it was marked right? If it was marked 90%. 90%. Yeah. Yeah. More Conservative time. right? Yes. Conservative right. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> if it's marked left, no. If melted 90% uh, silver is brought to you, do you normally buy it? Uh, no. And that's only because I don't have the same refinery contract. Uh, I either take some down to a uh, jewelry store in, I think they're in Malden, or send it to the wholesaler. And I have to, you know, buy by what he has listed. And he doesn't list chunks and 90% mm -hmm. silver. It's not it's illegal not. or anything to melt our coinage. Um, technically, I'm not sure. Because they did pass a law about um, melting down U.S. coins regarding the um, pre-82 pennies. If you're you know, just coming in and you had that question, I'd say, Google it. <laughs> I will do that, Tim. Uh, yeah, a lot of them know more about the rules and regulations than I do. You know what's going on now? Because <clears throat> I get all these messages and emails. What? Republicans running for Congress are now trying to eat each other. Yeah. That they do it every cycle. Republicans attack other Republicans, and the Democrat wins because nobody's attacking the Democrat. It happens every cycle, and you know I'm, I've had enough of it. I feel like calling these people on the phone and saying, "When it comes to another one of your, you know, the the people you're going to be standing up in a debate with, stop trashing Republicans. You moron." All right, I gotta give this guy a notice. Yeah. So you are gonna take those? Yeah, I took to Mike. He, he, the guy who buys them. Oh, see. So you got a, you got a uh, refiner's taking those? Six out of six out of nine or ten of them. Oh yeah, I got a truckload of stuff to take down. Uh, adding a trickle to the truckload. What a guy! <laughs> Tim's awesome. Turning this into one ten ounce bar. I got two fives at the same price. Whoa. I'll take it. Two fives? Two five ounce bars. So that and that yeah. gets you two. This is sterling and this is coin silver. So that'll get me 10 ounces pure. Very junk, nice. Junk pure. <laughs> what else are you getting? One, one gold buffalo. What? Just one? Just one. Okay. Tim, are there any more left? Uh, maybe. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Did you actually find a sovereign? What was that? Yeah. I do have one. Let's see. So, that's, not, that's, a, that's a very, very expensive one. Uh, yeah, I like sovereigns. Like They're just under a quarter, but they're yep. cool. Yep. No dice? Well, I'm going to be I around may, for I the next six months. I may have taken it out so. and put it in. Probably put it in a different box. Well, there's one. You see what that one is? Like, I can't give you the uh, 1918s. <laughs> or the 1911. Um, I guess it's an O. Maybe you yeah. C. It's one made in Canada. I can never remember what the mint mark is on. Rare. Yeah. And then the one from uh, Bombay. Wow. I don't know how you remember all this stuff. Important. That is it. Nice.